Hey there, this is Tyler with Theater Design Company. Going to do a couple more instructional videos. Um, a lot of these videos are for clients, so we can send them info along with our proposals. Um, occasionally we'll get customers asking why we're specking in uh, new construction brackets for their project. Uh, main reason is time savings. Um, so I'll, I'll zip through these time lapse um, ones here real quick. You can see I'm just opening up a pair of in wall. Uh, speakers and then the next one you'll see me opening up a pair of eight inch rough in rings and then I have a video that kind of has me walking through the perfect scenario of why we use rough in rings um, on a new construction project and the reason we do this uh, as the the little clip I have will show is that we uh, one we can line up the speakers with light cans and other items ahead of time uh, the biggest one and this is the one for the customer is we are not cutting holes in their home after the fact. This is done by the drywall. The, they'll use a zip saw and zip around these rough in rings. So when we get in there, we're virtually installing a speaker in, in five, 10 minutes, and that's on the long time frame. Where if we have to cut a speaker in, if the uh, wire's just marked in the ceiling, uh, you've got to get your vacuums out, you drop cloths, um, you're cutting the speakers in, and you're risking not remembering where you cut those speakers in, or, or excuse me, mark those speakers. So, a pair of speaker rings. I've done a couple videos on speaker rings and the benefit of them. Uh, this one's real apparent. We go down, you can see the speaker rings are perfectly lined up with the uh, cans. It'll go above an island. You can see the stub out for the island. And uh, the speaker rings we use uh, hold a 9.3 inch diameter cut in. So, we can do uh, Origin Acoustics, Da Vinci Group, uh, Clip. And then last part of the video, I'll uh, show you doing a, a new construction enclosure. Now this would be used if you had, for uh, example, a garage where you need a fire rating. Uh, or if you wanted to put them in maybe a theater for Dolby Atmos. Um, and you wanted to have a little bit of back box sound. These will knock down a little bit of sound. They're not ideal. There's better solutions for that. Um, anyway, hope you liked the video. And